the family of Issachar. The sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, four sons. The sons of Tola were Utzi, Rephiah, Jerial, Yamai, Ibsam, and Samuel, the chiefs of their families. During David's reign, the Tola family counted 22,600 warriors in their lineage. The son of Utzi was Isria, the sons of Isria were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah, five sons and all of them chiefs. They counted 36,000 warriors in their lineage because they had more wives and sons than their brothers. The extended families of Issachar accounted for 87,000 warriors, all of them listed in the family tree. The family of Benjamin. Benjamin had three sons, Bela, Becker, and Jediel. Bela had five, Esben, Utzi, Utziel, Jerimoth, and Iri, all of them chiefs and warriors. They counted 22,034 names in their family tree. Becker's sons were Zamira, Joash, Elizer, Ilioina, Omri, Jermoth, Abijah, Anadhoth, and Alameth. Through these chiefs their family tree listed 20,200 warriors. Jediel's son was Bilhan and the sons of Bilhan were Jush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kenana, Zethan, Tarzhish, and Ahishahar, all sons of Jediel and family chiefs, they counted 17,200 combat-ready warriors. Shuppim and Huppim were the sons of Ir, Hushim were from the family of Ahir. The family of Naphtali. The sons of Naphtali were Yaziel, Guni, Jezer, and Shalom, they are listed under the maternal line of Bilha, their grandfather's concubine. The family of Manasseh. Manasseh's sons, born of his Aramean concubine, were Asriel and Machir the father of Gilead. Machir got his wife from the Huppites and Shuppites. His sister's name was Maka. Another son, Zelophehad, had only daughters. Machir's wife Maka bore a son whom she named Parish, his brother's name was Shurish and his sons were Ulam and Rakam. Ulam's son was Bidan. This accounts for the sons of Gilead son of Machir, the son of Manasseh. His sister Hamolth gave birth to Ishdad, Abizer, and Mala. The sons of Shemitah were Ayan, Shechem, Laki, and Anayim. The family of Ephraim. The sons of Ephraim were Shadela, Baird his son, Tahat his son, Elida his son, Tahat his son, Zabad his son, Shadela his son, and Ezer, and Elid, cattle rustlers, killed on one of their raids by the natives of Gath. Their father Ephraim grieved a long time and his family gathered to give him comfort. Then he slept with his wife again. She conceived and produced a son. He named him Biria, unlucky, because of the bad luck that had come to his family. His daughter was Shira. She built lower and upper Beth Haran and Uwan Shira. Repha was Ephraim's son and also Reshep, Tela was his son, Tayan his son, Laden his son, Amahad his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. They occupied Bethel and the neighboring country from Naran on the east to Gezer and its villages on the west, along with Shechem and its villages, and extending as far as Ayah and its villages. Stretched along the borders of Manasseh were Bethshan, Tanach, Megiddo, and Dor, together with their satellite villages. The families descended from Joseph son of Israel lived in all these places. The family of Asher. The sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, and Biria, Sarah was their sister. The sons of Biria were Heber and Machiel, who had Berzath. Heber had Japhlet, Shemer, Hotham, and Shua their sister. Japhlet had Basak, Bimhal, and Ushvath. His brother Shemer had Roga, Hubba, and Aram. His brother Helam had Zapha, Imna, Shalesh, and Amal. Zapha had Suah, Harnefer, Shual, Beri, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira. Jether had Jephunna, Pispa, and Era. Ula had Era, Haniel, and Razia. These were Asher's sons, all of them responsible, excellent in character, and brave in battle, good leaders. They listed 26,000 combat-ready men in their family tree. The family of Benjamin, continued. Benjamin's firstborn son was Bela, followed by Ashbel, Ahara, Noha, and Rapha, five in all. Bela's sons were Adar, Gera, Abahad, Abishua, Naman, Aho, Gera, Shepapan, and Huram. These are the families of Ehud that lived in Geba and were exiled to Manahath, Naman, Ahijah, and Gera, who led them to exile and Hadua and Ahiyad. In the land of Moab, Shaharim had children after he divorced his wives Hashim and Bara. From his new wife Hoj he had Jabab, Zabiah, Mesha, 
Malcam, Jeuz, Sakia, and Murma, sons who became heads of families. From his earlier wife Hushim he had Abitub and Elpal. Elpal's sons were Eber, Misam, and Shemd, who built Ono and Lod with all their villages. Biria and Shima were family chiefs who lived at Ijalan. They drove out the citizens of Gath. Their brothers were Shashak and Jeremoth. The sons of Biria were Zebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishba, and Yoha. The sons of Elpal were Zebediah, Meshalam, Hiski, Heber, Ishmire, Islia, and Jabab. The sons of Shimei were Jachim, Zikri, Zabdi, Eliene, Zilathai, Eliel, Adaya, Berea, and Shimrath. The sons of Shashak were Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthothija, Epdaya, and Penuel. The sons of Jeroham were Shamshari, Shehariah, Athaliah, Jarshia, Elijah, and Zikri. These were the chiefs of the families as listed in their family tree. They lived in Jerusalem. Jeel the father of Gibeon lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maka. Abdon was his firstborn son, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Nadab, Gedur, Ahio, Zekar, and Mikloth. Mikloth had Shimea. They lived in the neighborhood of their extended families in Jerusalem. Nah had Kish, Kish had Saul, and Saul had Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. Jonathan had Merib Baal, and Merib Baal had Micah. Micah's sons were Pithon, Malek, Teria, and Ahaz. Ahaz had Jehoda and Jehoda had Alameth, Azmaveth, and Zimri. Zimri had Moza and Moza had Binia. Rapha was his son, Eliezer his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons named Azrakam, Bokaru, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. His brother Eshek's sons were Ulam his firstborn, followed by Jush and Eliphelet. Ulam's sons were warriors well known as archers. They had lots of sons and grandsons, at least 150. These were all in Benjamin's family tree. This is the complete family tree for all Israel, recorded in the royal annals of the kings of Israel and Judah at the time they were exiled to Babylon because of their unbelieving and disobedient lives. The Back From Exile Community in Jerusalem The first Israelites to return from exile to their homes and cities were the priests, the Levites, and the temple support staff. Returning to Jerusalem from the families of Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh were the following, Uthai son of Amahad, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani. From the line of Purah son of Judah, from the Shilonites were Asaiah the firstborn and his sons, from the family of Zerah there was Jewel. There were 690 in the Judah group. From the family of Benjamin were Salu son of Meshalam, the son of Hodavia, the son of Hassanuel, and Ibniya son of Jeroham, and Elah son of Utzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshalam son of Shephesha, the son of Ruel, the son of Abnijah. There were 956 in the Benjamin group. All these named were heads of families. From the company of priests there were Jedeah, Jehoiarab, Jachin, Azariah son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshalam, the son of Zadok, the son of Miraith, the son of Ahitab, who was in charge of taking care of the house of God, Adaiah son of Jeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Machijah, also Masse son of Adil, the son of Yazariah, the son of Meshalam, the son of Meshalemith, the son of Immer. The priests, all of them heads of families, numbered 1,760, skilled and seasoned servants in the work of worshipping God. From the Levites were Shimei son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabia, a Merarite, then Bakbakar, Harash, Galal, Matania son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Azaph, also Obadiah son of Shimei, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and finally Berkiah son of Asa. The son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netophathites. The security guards were Shalom, Akub, Talman, Ahiman, and their brothers. Shalom was the chief and up to now the security guard at the king's gate on the east. They also served as security guards at the camps of Levite families. Shalom son of Korah, the son of Ebiasaph, the son of Korah, along with his brothers in the Korahite family, were in charge of the services of worship as doorkeepers of the tent, as their ancestors had guarded the entrance to the camp of God. In the early days, Phineha son of Eliezer was in charge of the security guards, God be with him. Now Zechariah son of Meshalemia was the security guard at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The number of those who had been chosen to be security guards was 212, they were officially registered in their own camps. 
David and Samuel the seer handpicked them for their dependability. They and their sons had the permanent responsibility for guarding the gates of God's house, the house of worship, the main security guards were posted at the four entrances, east, west, north, and south, their brothers in the villages were scheduled to give them relief weekly, the four main security guards were responsible for round-the-clock surveillance. Being Levites, they were responsible for the security of all supplies and valuables in the house of God. They kept watch all through the night and had the key to open the doors each morning. Some were in charge of the articles used in the temple worship, they counted them both when they brought them in and when they took them out. Others were in charge of supplies in the sanctuary, flour, wine, oil, incense, and spices. And some of the priests were assigned to mixing the oils for the perfume. The Levite Mattithiah, the firstborn son of Shalom the Korahite, was responsible for baking the bread for the services of worship. Some of the brothers, sons of the Kohathites, were assigned to preparing the bread set out on the table each Sabbath. And then there were the musicians, all heads of Levite families. They had permanent living quarters in the temple, because they were on 24-hour duty, they were exempt from all other duties. These were the heads of Levite families as designated in their family tree. They lived in Jerusalem. The family of Saul. Jeel the father of Gibeon lived at Gibeon, his wife was Makkah. His firstborn son was Abdon, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Na, Nadab, Gedur, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth had Shimim. They lived in the same neighborhood as their relatives in Jerusalem. Na had Kish, Kish had Saul, Saul had Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. Meribbaal was the son of Jonathan and Meribbaal had Micah. Micah's sons were Pithon, Malek, and Tariah. Ahaz had Jerah, Jerah had Alameth, Azmaveth, and Zimri, Zimri had Moza, Moza had Biniah, Rephiah was his son, Eleazar was his son, and Azel was his son. Azel had six sons, Azrakam, Bokaru, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan, the sons of Azel. 